Hello again. Have you had a good day? I am not fucking sure. I mean, where the fuck are we? Why is everything fucking green? Ah? Well the bar we were in last time is closed. This place is the only one that was open. It is an Irish pub. Jesus fucking Christ. So can we fucking leave? Oh no not yet. It is not closing time. No one is ever allowed to leave an Irish pub before closing time. It is a special rule they have. They are a lovely people, the Irish. You are fucking sick. Don't talk to me about fucking foreigners. I am an Australian, born and bred. I grew here, they flew here. As I always say, Aussie, Aussie Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Yes, you do say that quite a lot. I have noticed. Well, the country is being taken over. Soon, no one will speak English. It is true that the English language is threatened as it is. What with Sean Warne being allowed to be a cricket commentator and all. And they want our jobs. Who does? The refugees. They come here so they can steal our jobs. I read just the other day that Ford was shutting down a factory in Melbourne and moving it to China. They are sacking hundreds of workers. And what does that have to do with refugees? Isn't it obvious? No. Not really. Don't you remember that Christmas Island detention center breakout a few weeks ago? Yes. I recall that. What the media failed to tell you was that a few so-called Chinese refugees escaped, swam 2,000 kilometers to the mainland and then launched a long march from the northwest of Australia all the way down to Melbourne. Then they broke into a Ford board meeting and massacred the executives with chopsticks. Oh. I see. And they are masters of disguise and great voice impersonators. You can see, they can speak English when they want to. They spent years inside the detention center living it up at our expense perfecting their skills. So no one noticed when they called a press conference and announced the factory was being closed down. And the factory was moved to China. China, exactly. Which is where these so-called refugees came from in the first place with their stories about repression and torture. It is all a communist plot to steal our jobs. So the Chinese government, as part of a plot to destroy our economy and way of life, sends a few hundred dedicated agents off in a tiny, rickety boat to travel across the open seas with hardly any food or water in the hope that it would be intercepted by the Australian Navy. And then that the Australian government would place them inside a detention center to give them time to perfect their Ford executive impersonation skills. And then when the time was right, they would strike. Yes. That is exactly what I am saying. You know, I have never thought about it in that way before. Fuckity. It is a fucking disgrace. All these refugees killing and impersonating company executives and then sacking workers. Yes. Have you ever gotten drunk by yourself and then tied your own hands together behind your back with gaffer tape? No. I have never done that. Oh? I was just wondering. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs>